Hey everybody, welcome back to Rainy Day Coloring. This is Jenny, and today I'm going to um, attempt, I should say, to do the adult coloring tag that's going around. Um, I think it originated from Color Me Stress Free. Um, and Danny Buttons, who has, I adore her channel so much, encouraged me to do it. I kind of felt a little silly since I'm so new to YouTube, but I'm going to try it. So while I kind of go through those questions today, I'm going to be working in Creative Haven Enchanting and Tangled Art Coloring Book. This is by Angela Porter. And you can see this is the last one I did in there. I'm going to work on this page while we're chatting today. Um... This is what my normal setup is. I always have a thick piece of paper behind. I thought for this, I traditionally really like to use brighter colors when I'm coloring, but I have a new set of these Spectrum Noir Illustrator. They are the Hues colors, and I thought it would be kind of fun to work with those today and just sort of see see how I like them. I do think I might end up thinking it's not bright enough, but we'll just go from there. So I have my six colors from the hues, and then I also pulled out one earth brown from another new set that I purchased, which is the um, browns uh, from Spectrum Noir. Okay, let's see. The other thing is my son is, is around, hopefully going to bed soon, but if you hear background noise, that is what you will hear. So the first question on it is, and let's see how distracted I am trying to color while doing this. The first question on it is, um, what is your name? My name is Jenny. And um, the second question is, what is your nickname? Technically my uh, nickname is Jenny and my uh, real first name is Jennifer. Um, but no one calls me Jennifer like I would feel like I was in trouble or being sent to the principal's office if you said Jennifer. So my nickname is Jenny and some people call me Jen. Uh, let's see, do you like your name? Um, I, yeah, I mean, it's fine. I don't not like it. It was, I think, like the number one name for girls the year I was born. And so growing up, there was always other Jennies or there'd be like a Jennifer and a Jen and a Jenny. Um, so I always went by... Uh, I always went by Jenny and then the first letter of my last name, which is kind of funny. So, um, yeah, but I mean, it, it didn't really bother me. I do think my older brother and sister have kind of cooler names than I do, but, but that's fine. Uh, when's my birthday? My birthday is October 17th. I'm a Libra and I have a terrible time making decisions, which I'm pretty sure that's like a Libra thing, right? Um, what are my three favorite colors? I love, um, it's hard to choose, but I love like aqua, teal, turquoise, um, that kind of color family. And then I also really like black and white. <laughs> I It's hard to pick a favorite color because I like a different favorite color for everything, right? So some people are like, I love purple, I wear purple. Um, you know, it's my favorite color to color with and all that stuff, but um, I feel like I have a different favorite color for every aspect of life. Um, what are your three favorite quotes? I don't know if I have three favorite quotes. I do have one quote that I really love. It's actually part of a poem. And it's, um, it goes, uh, see, look how slow I'm coloring because it's like so hard for me to do this. Um, it's live in the sunshine, swim in the sea, drink the wild air. And that's by Ralph Waldo Emerson. And, um, I've always just thought that was especially um, lovely and beautiful and uh, good advice. And it's part of a bigger poem that's sort of about um, the importance of living in the moment and you don't need to, you know, try to have more things than your neighbor or, um, you know, hoard things or, or whatever. Um, and I kind of like that philosophy, even though I kind of hoard coloring supplies probably um what is your favorite tv show uh youtube or movie or whatever um it's hard for me to pick my very favorite but my favorite tv show i think of all time um is six feet under it's like an amazing amazing show and one of the first shows that i don't know i just really truly loved um and i I don't know what my favorite movie is. I love horror movies, so um, my favorite movies are like 
I really love things like um, Shaun of the Dead and 28 Days Later and uh, uh, Cabin in the Woods is so great. Um, and so things like that. Let's see, this is so hard to go back and forth, you guys. What are the three qualities you like in a best friend? Um, obviously people who are funny, I, you know, it's good to laugh and have fun and enjoy life. And obviously with your, you know, best friends and closest friends, you wanna have that. Also, I really value um, honesty. Um, and I just like people who are, you are who you are, you know, like they just, just be yourself. Like you don't have to pretend to be something you're not, or I don't know. The older I get, the more I really just value people who, even if it's, if they're not like me or it's maybe something that I don't like, the fact that they can just be true to themselves is really a great characteristic um what is your dream my dream gosh um what's my dream i don't know what my big dream is right now like what i'm working for all my dreams i feel like are sort of not very tangible which is which is hard but really like my dream is just that for myself and um, also my family and my son, that I just really hope that we all can live lives where we're getting the most out of them and, and, and you know, enjoying life. And um, I don't know, I just think it's really important to appreciate where you are and um, be content and, and show gratitude. And really my dream is just to, you know, during my life continue to grow and become a better person um, hopefully, right? Maybe we all hope for that. I'm not sure. I hope so. Oh, do you wear makeup? I'm, I do. I wear a little bit of makeup. Um, I always love to do like a, a BB cream or something and a little powder to even out my skin tone. Um, since pandemic and I hardly go anywhere, now I'm wearing makeup primarily because I get like an extra layer of SPF in it and I burn super easy so my husband's always like why are you putting on makeup and it's it's my sunscreen <laughs> like I just got a layer on that sunscreen um so I do wear a little bit of makeup but I'm not like good at makeup I I don't know I'm not that into it it's not really a passion of mine what makes me cry well I would say that I don't cry that often but I think my husband would say that I cry a lot so I don't know uh what makes me cry um, um what makes me cry um if people I love are crying or sad that's definitely really hard um also I I tend to be a let things build up and then kind of out of being overwhelmed cry that's probably the the most often reason i would cry is not even about one thing but just that i haven't been processing things well enough and then i <clears throat> excuse me cry over that what makes me angry uh people that don't follow the rules especially right now like come on everybody we're in this together let's follow the rules let's wear our masks let's let's try to keep each other healthy what makes you happy um, hearing my kiddo laugh is the best. He's five. Um, and seeing, you know, my husband and son, um, happy and healthy, it just, it makes me happy. I love to see that. What is fangirling? I think, isn't fangirling like when you're, oh my gosh, do I know what fangirling is? I've even heard, like, I literally, I've watched other people do these videos, so I should know what they say, and I should just regurgitate what they said, right? That would be the smart thing to do. Um, I think it's just when you, like, obsess over uh, someone or something, like, yeah, and that's, that's as far as I got on that. Um, what are your three favorite snacks? Right now, I'm really, really into, um, oh, why am I not using the super tip side of this? That's what I was so excited about, the brush side. Okay, I'll switch for my next little pseudo sun. Um, right now, I'm really into smoothies. So I've been making a smoothie almost every day, and um, that's been really yummy. But in terms of, like, junky snacks, because that's kind of what I always think snacks are, um, like treat snacks, I love chips, like salty chips. Um, 
and I love things like um, uh, ice cream. Love ice cream, definitely a favorite. Ooh, I love on the illustrators those, um, can you see that, that brush tip? It's really, I just think it's really satisfying to color like that. Uh, my three favorite foods are, oh gosh, I don't know, uh, probably hamburgers, lasagna, can I say ice cream again, <laughs> like for a second category? How many things can you answer ice cream for? That's going to be my my goal for this. Um, three favorite drinks. Uh, I like coffee, water, and I like drinks that are made with gin, <laughs> like gin and tonics or gin and sparkling water or whatever, stuff like that I'm really a fan of. We have this restaurant that... Um, I used to go to all the time when I was younger and they make something called supersonic gin and tonics, which are like gin and tonics that have like a slushy mix in it. It sounds, I mean, it was legitimately amazing. And during pandemic, I saw that you could order like the kit to go that came with like slushy mix and stuff. It's a little far from where we live. We never did it, but I was like, oh my gosh, that sounds amazing, right? Um... Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? 10 random facts. I don't know if I can do 10 and I'm probably not going to count because that's crazy. I really liked how Danny was like, I'm going to do this at the end and see what's left. Um, 10 facts about myself. Here's a couple. I think I've sort of mentioned this. I love all things horror. Well, not all things. I'll get to why not all things, but um, I'm obsessed with like horror movies and horror TV shows and I love to read books that are horror. Um, just really love horror. Always have. Um, grew up loving like, you know, Goosebumps books and Goosebumps TV show and Are You Afraid of the Dark and, um, and stuff like that. My brother is seven years older than me and I can remember him showing me mm, probably inappropriate movies <laughs> from a young age, but I got the horror bug. The funny thing is though, is as much as I like, I mean, I literally like will watch any horror movie. Probably 90% of the time I'm watching movies, it's horror. But um, for all that horror, I can't do um, horror coloring books. Like I can watch other people color in them or whatever. Um, and I actually think it's kind of cool to do that. But just, I can't, like it, it kind of scares me or something. I don't know. And I can't do horror, um, video games either that's a little hard so although I don't play a lot of video games but I definitely could not play a horror video game I feel like that counts for like five facts that was a lot of information um the other thing I live with my husband and my son and we have a cat um I uh um, what else um I have an older brother and an older sister and then I also have a even older, older half brother and half sister. So I'm the youngest of five, but three of us grew up together. Um, and yeah, what's else? I am a preschool teacher. I got my degree in elementary education and I currently teach preschool. Um, or I did pre-pandemic. Um, it's still kind of up in the air what's going to happen in the fall and what school will look like in preschool. So we'll just get there as we get there, I guess. Okay, I feel like that's a lot of facts. Let's keep going. What are three fun things you like to do? Should I bring up the ice cream again? I like to eat ice cream and watch scary movies. Um, what, other, what other fun things do I like to do? Um, I'm really, now that it's summer, starting last summer, I got really into kayaking with my husband and kiddo and I went with my sister and um, just really love kayaking, super fun. I like camping, love camping. Pretty sad because we haven't, traditionally we camp a lot in the summer. We usually start like Mother's Day weekend, we go on a great camping trip and um, just due to everything that's been going on uh, pandemic wise, we haven't been able to camp yet. And I think like campsites where I live are starting to open up and stuff like that, but we just still haven't felt super comfortable yet and are kind of waiting to see how things um, shake out and then we'll we'll go from there and decide. Um, so yes, kayaking, camping, what are my other, what are other fun things I like to do? Um, I don't know, coloring, does coloring count? I like to garden. I used to love to go to the movies pre-pandemic. <laughs> 
and um, go to the library, uh, look at books, put books on hold, so fun. Um, but you know, life is evolving, we're finding other things that are fun. We can still kayak, so that's a good thing. Uh, what best describes where you live? So I guess that's obvious for my channel. I live in the Pacific Northwest, and I do, I put, I put rainy day coloring because it does rain here, but um, I genuinely, I love, I love the Pacific Northwest. I love where I live. I love our weather. I can still remember, and I've always grown up in the Pacific Northwest, or like even as a child, I was born in the Northwest. Um, I can remember being in like fourth grade and going to Florida in the summer, and they would have these like rainstorms every day at, um, four and even then I remember being like wait I'm from you know like the Seattle area it's supposed to pour where I am and I have never seen rain like these thunder showers so I always think it's funny because yeah we do I mean we get a lot of rain but it's usually like it's usually pretty mild I mean people don't even really like use umbrellas here or we just have raincoats and stuff so that's kind of fun um what else about where I live? So I live in a suburb of a bigger city and it's, um, I live in a great neighborhood with, um, lots of other families like mine, like mine, or not necessarily like mine, but like families with children, I guess it's not super, we're not really all the same or anything. <laughs> and, um, one of my closest friends lives across the street from me. And one of my other best friends lives a mile away from me. So I am very lucky. And we all three have um, kiddos that are close to the same ages. So um, I feel really, really, really grateful that I get to do life so close to great people like that. What's my crafty style? Um, I guess my crafty style, do not do I have a crafty style? I don't know, I used to craft so much more before I had my son, and um, I don't really craft that much anymore. So I color, I like to like pretend to learn how to watercolor and draw and stuff, but I'm not good at it. Um, I like to make cards. I don't know what my crafty style really is though. Um, oh, I know what my crafty style is. I do like to try new things. I love to try different products. I love to collect products, of course. And also, I think my, but I like to craft um, for fun and for relaxation. So like, I enjoy doing crafts that, am I messing up this pattern, you guys? Um, so it's just important to me that I don't, um, I mean, not that I'm not willing to try hard or to learn new things, I totally do wanna do that, but. I always try to keep in mind that this is this is supposed to be fun, right? So even, you know, making cards is fun, and I, I like to do that. And I just try to remind myself that um, it should be helping me to have a better quality of life and enjoy life. Um, I sound really cheesy, don't I? Let's see. What's my most wished for crafty? Oh, most used crafty tool. Probably my um, Ohu Hu markers, my alcohol markers, love them so much. I do want to try some of the other types. I have a few Copic and Spectrum Norbert, but I really want to try like the Cali Art ones. I'm really a fan of inexpensive alcohol markers um, because I everything, every art product I have, I want to use. Um, so I'm, I don't know. If I, if I have something too long and I don't use it, then I usually get rid of it. So, I, I mean, I want to use it. I want to run out of things. In fact, I always tell my son, because he gets kind of nervous sometimes, like, about not wanting to share art supplies with people or whatever. And I'm always like, dude, if you use up art supplies, we'll get more. So I try to always tell myself that. Like, if I use up my um, OU Who markers, like, that's great. That means I did what I'm supposed to do, right? Um, what's my most wished for crafty tool? There's, I mean, there's nothing that I'm like dying, dying, dying. I have to have right now, but I do, um, I love coloring with markers and I don't feel like I'm as good at coloring with colored pencils. I would like to be better. So, um, I would, I would like to try some of the fancier colored pencils. Um, I'm really interested in polychromos and the Derwent ink tents. And I think what I, what I want to do, because I, I wouldn't, 
like to be clear, my most wished for is not like a giant set of either of those because I would hate to have something so expensive and it be something that I don't, I don't like or I don't use. Um, I think that would just be really wasteful. But um, I keep thinking I should get like some open stock. I think those both come in open stock, don't they? Well, me, yeah, I don't know. Um, so I guess my most wish for a crafty tool right now would just be to have some more um, nicer colored pencils that I can kind of play around with and see if that's something I would like. Uh, what's your favorite craft brand? Um, oh, oh, I'm saying it wrong. Oh, who, who? Oh, who, who? I don't know. Those are probably, I'm, I'm a real, I'm a real fan. I have their watercolor markers. I have their alcohol markers. I have um, another set of like water-based markers from them. They have great customer service. I once got a set of markers that had a couple markers cracked and a couple that were dried up. And I actually emailed the company and they got right back to me. And my sister had an issue on time with them as well. And they're just, they're a great company that seemed to really care about their customers. And so for that, I really enjoy, um, I really enjoy them and I enjoy, um, their products as well. Oh, What's, what is your favorite craft? I feel like I've already answered this. Um, coloring and card making are my favorite things right now. I used to really enjoy um, scrapbooking. Oh, this, I picked too big of a tip. Um, but now most of my scrapbooking, and I'm actually still pretty behind on it, is um, I love to just do like online, online scrapbooking by the year. So like 2017 and I have kind of a favorite super simple program I use um and that's how I tend to scrapbook so definitely coloring and making cards would be my favorite um and cards usually I only make if I am at a like a crop a scrapbooking retreat or if I um specifically run out of cards because I I use the cards I make a lot to send to people or or whatever else um do you have any pets? Yep, I already answered this, I think. I have one pet, a cat named Maisie, and she is um, a white-haired, long, long, long white-haired cat. Uh, she's an indoor cat. We've had her for, I think it's almost her 12th birthday. We adopted her from the Humane Society, but she was a kitten. And we think she was, she was really young when we got her. We think she was weaned too early. She loves to like pseudo nurse where she'll like need, especially on my husband, she'll like knead on your chest and then put your her, your like shirt in her mouth and kind of like suck on your shirt. It's pretty funny. So she's pretty silly. We did used to have chickens and we would like to actually get more chickens. We're probably gonna wait till next year and get um, some chicks again. Start with chicks and, and raise them on up. Oh, let's see. What's, when is your favorite time to craft? Um, I'm not, it's funny because when I craft like making cards, I love to like be all laid out, have all my stuff, have tons of times, have tons of time to do it. That's why I like to make cards when I'm at scrapbooking retreats. For coloring though, I will literally color anytime, anywhere. And I usually have two to three different things that I'm coloring on in different areas of my house. So like some types of coloring, I'll feel like I need to do at my desk. And then I usually do a little coloring in the morning while I drink coffee. And that's usually something really simple, like a um, color by number or whatever. Um, I like to craft at night while I'm watching YouTube or TV. I like to color. So I mean, I'll color anytime. Do you have a favorite non-crafty YouTube channel? I really don't watch a lot of YouTube that's not coloring, or I guess I do watch some art channels. I don't know though, I feel like arts and crafts are so similar, right? Um, oh, I have been really into, my husband and I recently watched Eurovision, um, the movie, like there's a fictional movie on Netflix with Will Ferrell and Rachel McAdams and it is so funny and we loved it so much that we've started um <laughs> looking up like the real Eurovision on YouTube and watching it so I guess that's probably my favorite I don't even know what it is like official Eurovision whatever that's probably my favorite non um coloring channel are we at oh we're at 24 minutes let's let's wrap this up let's see do I have a favorite store um 
I love our, I love Ben Franklin, which is a craft store we have in the Northwest. Um, it's locally owned and they have all sorts of crafts. It's just so fun to go, to go look around and get inspired. So that's definitely probably one of my favorites. Um, yeah. Well, what else? What is your favorite restaurant? I'm gonna switch again to this one. I think my favorite restaurant. Um, well, I have one that, but it has the name of the city I live in. That's my favorite. Um, I don't. I don't really have like favorite favorites. Oh, I love like a good. Um, I love a good place with steak. So like anywhere I can get steak, I like. I like Mexican restaurants. I'm not super like. Oh, this is my one favorite restaurant of all time. I'm I'm pretty easy, I think. What's your favorite magazine? I don't know. Um, what is my favorite magazine? Well, I just got my first creative, or no, 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 not, not creative. I'm gonna say Coloring Heaven. I always mix up Creative Haven with Coloring Heaven. I got my first one today and I'm so excited. So like right this moment, probably, probably that, cause I can't wait to do it, to color in there. Who's my favorite author? Um, I don't know if I have a favorite author. I love, um, I need to try all these colors before this video is over. So let's pull out this amethyst and see what that's like. I've done the green, right? Yeah, okay. Um, my favorite author, I like Margaret Atwood. Um, I like Wally Lamb. I don't know if I have a favorite, favorite of all time. Um, I more have favorite books, I think. I'm not necessarily someone that's um, super, like this is my favorite, my favorite author of all time necessarily, more just like these are some of my favorite books of all time and I love them so much. What are your favorite shoes? Oh, my Birkenstocks, of course. They're so comfy, they're so great. I love those, um, wear them all the time. Just really comfortable. Um, I also like like any like flip flops like Javiana flip flops. I just love slipping them on. Um, what is your favorite time of the year? I'm so basic. My favorite time of the year is fall. I love it so much. I do have a funny story about that though. I was talking to my husband the other day, and um, it was after I'd watched one of these videos with these facts, and I was like, John, what's your um, what's your favorite? time of the year and he was like fall and I was like yeah 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 yeah, me too and I said why why is that your favorite time of the year and he was like well summer's too hot winter's too cold and spring my allergies are bad so I just got a kick out of it that I was like your favorite season has nothing to do with anything in that season that you enjoy it's just like all the reasons you don't like other seasons which I thought was pretty funny um but yeah I love like, like it's just it's so exciting I've always um even as a kid been like that dork that's excited for school to start and I would love school shopping and so that always like that end of summer was always very exciting for me my birthday's in the fall um I think I feel like people try sometimes hard around the hall like we try you know we try to be good to each other I think and I like that I like that people come together for holidays and families come together. Um, I do like how the weather gets colder. I find, um, I really enjoy summer. It's so fun. And especially when it gets warm here, cause it's not, you know, that hot where I live, but I do love in winter or in fall when it starts, the weather starts to change and like you start to wear cozy sweaters and, you know, use your fireplace and you, um, you, uh, it starts to get dark earlier because there's something like there's something so relaxing about that in the summer sometimes when it's light till nine I'm like man should I do I still need to be productive right now should I be doing something but in the fall you know like in the fall it gets dark at 4 30 you're like okay let's eat dinner let's now we've got you know three hours to bum around because it's dark out I don't know it's it's weird okay so I think I answered all the questions and we're at 30 minutes so that was great you can see kind of how far I got on this not very far maybe I don't have fancy zoom yet you guys not very far I wanted to try to use all of the colors and I think I did 
um, that are in that hue set. I, I think I like how it's turning out. Um, those three colors together, the, like that green, purple, and pink are a little, I don't know, especially together they feel really muted. So uh, my guess is that I'll probably be putting a lot of the gold and the amber on this page and maybe supplementing with some brown and and things like that. I might even pull in another color or more colors, I'm not sure. Let's just cross our fingers that this doesn't turn into a whip that I don't finish for a while. Anyway, so I just wanna say thank you so much for watching. Um, and thank you so much to Danny Buttons for um, kind of giving me the push to make this video. So I really appreciate it. I hope you guys all are having a great day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.